How's it going guys? Yes, finally got another Mustang. Um, if you guys remember the white car I was putting together, I ended up selling that to a friend, which was a big mistake. I should have just kept it, but he wanted a cool car and I was trying to help him out. So this is my replacement. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I've actually said it on the channel or not, but I actually got rid of the 240 to go get this car. Because I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to buy any junk without getting rid of junk. But then I bought the 2300ZX, so didn't really stay to that promise. But <laughs> anyway, um, I bought the car, like I said, knowing that the transmission stuck in first gear. Um, haven't really got a chance to look at it. Like, I literally just unloaded this thing off the trailer and it's been sitting here. Um, yeah, I know it was stuck in first gear, but it was running, but it's not running very well. I'm suspect of a couple things, none of them being very good. So the game plan for this car is to rip the engine transmission out, look into the, you know, look into the engine, look into the transmission, see what we can fix, figure out what we got to get. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a cool car. It's like, it's already got coil levers on it. It is a, a 2002 Cobra. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the front bumper, I do have it. It's just really destroyed, and they threw that one on there. I don't know why. I just would have got like an 03 Cobra bumper. So I'm probably going to do this like a 03, 04 Cobra column, like supercharger and everything, um, eventually. <laughs> as If you're a Mustang person, as you can imagine, that's a lot of expensive stuff. But I'm just going to show you around the car real quick. Like I said I wanted to make a video with it because I've had it for probably a month maybe two months now i don't even know i think longer than that i've had it for a while now it's just been sitting in the yard because like i said as soon as i start looking into it it's going to need more work than i thought so you know it is what it is but check it out real quick i did have this thing like really cleaned up and it does clean up extremely well um it actually has like some you know mid-range coilovers nothing too fancy got the battery charging so i can crank it up it does run but whoever put these coil levers on, put them on backwards. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's, that was kind of an interesting find. Did clean the interior up a little bit. It's not in the best of shape. I've actually seen a lot of them have this little spot right there. The seats are horrible, which new covers for these things are crazy expensive. And that center console is like garbage. My camera will actually focus, but it's not too bad. Yeah. But like I said, I just figured this was a better option than the 240. Um, I literally sold the 240 for what, I, what this car cost. So I do believe I overpaid for this thing, but I had nothing in the 240, so I didn't really care. I just preferred to have the Cobra over that, you know, clapped out 240. So. Let's fire this thing up real quick. That was a weird noise. But yeah, I don't know if you can hear me, but like I said, it's open headers because they were getting ready to take the transmission out. But the shifter moves, but it is, you let the clutch out no matter where you're at, it's just, you're in first, it'll start moving. still beeping that's kind of annoying but yeah it has about a hundred thousand less miles than the 240 had on it and like i said it already has wheels it already has coilovers as you could hear it like it has long tube headers and it has a full exhaust but it's not on it right now <laughs> thing is crazy loud but it's not too bad i think it's gonna make a great project so haven't told you guys about the mr2 but it sprung like an oil leak at like uh the oil pump i'm guessing somewhere around the front cover and since I'm not, I don't care about that engine. I just don't want to dump a time, you know, time and money in that thing. And it's, the engine's kind of wore out. Like, so if you take the oil cap off, it's like blow by, like you wouldn't believe it's, it's insane. So yeah, just a quick look at it because there's no telling. I'll come out here and start messing with it. And I just wanted y'all to see the car as it was when I got it. <laughs> yeah. The game plan is we got to get 
engine transmission out so i'll do a video of that uh getting the engine out and stuff and we'll show the transmission part and see if we can figure out what's going on if you know anything about these things like i said i'm up for any advice so the transmission stuck in first gear it will not move um i've never took a manual transmission part but I'm gonna learn on this one <laughs> i'd like to be able to go ahead and buy like the t56 for it but man that's like like three grand if not more and a supercharger kit it'd be like six thousand more dollars but then I wouldn't even have $10,000 in this car with all that stuff done. So that's pretty cheap Cobra. Well, not really, I don't think. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but it's, it's a Cobra that I can beat on and thrash on and not feel bad. So I wouldn't want to pay $20,000 for like a true 03, 04 Cobra and then beat on it. Because I actually want one of those turds one day. So this is close enough. <laughs> all right, guys. Appreciate you watching, sticking around, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.